This has been like the warrior's journey, hasn't it? The fucking uh, James Campbell or whatever his shit ass name is. That's a jackrabbit. Holy shit. That thing is massive. Got my window open. Got the blinds open. There's this giant ass rabbit. Fuck me. It's the size of our cat. Holy shit. That's a big rabbit. Fucking hell. This big ass ears probably hears me stop the entire time that I was blasting his ass there. Well, let's take a look at this shit. Oh, by 75 points. That's a fucking good margin. Oh, so much for the Daytona 500 champion, Ken Schrader. Maybe you shouldn't have beaten Martin again, huh? How does that sound, asshole? Go racing. Another car telemetry. You see, we didn't have a single one of these throughout the entire game, and then suddenly, boom. At the end of the year, they're all like, hey, you want to get distracted from what you're trying to do? No? Well, that's shocking. Dover 400. Casey could have won Dover earlier this year, which is good. That gives me confidence going into this race. Do do do. So. Here we are. Dover. Just gotta hope Casey has a good starting spot. That's all we need. He just needs to start good because the race is plenty long enough. It's the shortest race length in the game, but it's plenty long enough for him to get a solid top five. It's just he needs to qualify good. <gasps> Casey! My man got a pole! <laughs> a big fucking round of applause! My man! <laughs> Dude, I'm actually happy. Oh, Casey. But I have to qualify too. Because I don't want to get on the charge point so I don't lose the uh, contract that I have with uh, Hendrick that I can get. So I just got to time this for Casey and Casey's pole. Oh, man. Oh, that is so awesome. I probably don't even need to help him in this race. I should just, let's just, let's start last. Casey doesn't need my help anymore. I made a man out of him. He won the last race. I pushed him to the lead, but he got the win on a green-white checkered on his own. He doesn't need my help anymore. He's his own man. Let's share a draft with David Reagan. Let's change the name of the series to Kyle Petty's Angel. Come on. Let's make this an incredible series. Okay. You need to get on a charge. Wait. Shit. That's right. I'm supposed to not have on the charge points, otherwise I'm going to lose that contract. Whoops. Well, that was smart of me. Eh, Casey's winning. It's fine. Come on, Kyle. We can do this. Work with me. Work with me, damn it. There he goes. Come on down, Kyle. Yeah. Kyle Petty's angel. Casey doesn't need me anymore. This is like angels in the outfield when he gets down to the championship time. And the angels can't help anymore. This is just like that fucking movie. It's a decent movie. I liked it when I was eight. It probably sucks in reality. Because I haven't watched it since then. So I just recently uh, got back into Death in June. Because I re-torrented his entire, well, almost entire discography. Because my computer crashed, obviously. So I needed to re-download that. And when I did, I just started listening to all these songs that I haven't listened to in a long time. Torture by Roses is very good. It's a very solid song. It's a rhythmic song. You know what I'm trying to say is that it's a it's a it's a song that you can uh, you can sling a beat onto, right? My point that I'm trying to make it's one of those songs that you wouldn't have been surprised if it was like written by a uh, a pop artist directive and like um. um and if it had been, like, sung by, like, I don't know, Justin Timberlake. If it had a more peppy beat to it. But, like, the lyric, it's lyrically good. Most Death in June songs are kind of eh, as far as lyrics are concerned. They're definitely, Death in June is definitely better lyri lyrically than Bee Gees, but the Bee Gees are corny for the sake of being corny, and that's why I love them. But Death in June actually is considerably better as in the lyric department. And the instrumentals are very strong. The orchestration of a Death in June album is the best part of it. 
Um, overall, I'd say depending on what your favorite style of music is, if you're a if you're a fan of like John Denver and them guys, I'd say Death and June is actually a good band that you should check out. They're very uh, it's an acquired taste, but um, it's still very solid. The point I'm trying to make is Torture by Rose is very underrated. I think it's actually one of their better known ones because it's on all the compilations. Are there any good Death and June B-sides that you should know about? Unconditional Armistice. Which is a B-side off of an album about B-sides, so I should just about tell you how good that is. But it's actually very good. It's another one of those pop songs that you wouldn't be surprised if fucking, uh, whoever writes for Britney Spears wrote it, you know. But, um... Are there any other good B-sides on Death and June albums? The entire B-side of All Pigs Must Die is cacophony, but not the good kind of cacophony. You see, the difference between cacophony of uh, the B-side of All Pigs Must Die versus, um, like, uh, Butthole Surfer's Lo Locust Abortion Technician, like, that whole album is so weird, but it's great. Even as far as uh, Death is a Drummer off of um, the world, the Wall of Sacrifice for Death in June, you compare that to the B-side of um, All Pigs Must Die, and you can tell Death is a Drummer is much more solid. These guys have been, Matt Kenseth and Scott Riggs have been just duking it out for a second behind Casey Mears. Casey Mears has dominated this play, race flag to flag. I'm so fucking proud of him, dude. I'm getting Kyle Petty at top 20. Don't worry, Casey. It was a slow process, but we are moving up through the field. I'm coming. I'm coming. And he's just like, I don't need you anymore. No, this is the this is the Casey Mears heel turn. Where he where he casts me aside and he becomes a um a uh what's it called? Um arrogant. He becomes arrogant. And then he loses the championship by his own hubris. And um and then we reconcile. And then I come back and help him win the championship next season. And that is the Casey's Angel anime finale. It doesn't actually end. It, it, the, the final episode of the Casey's Angel anime is Homestead this season where Casey loses it and I come. And we embrace in a tearful hug. And throughout the credit sequence you see 2008. And Casey's just dominating every race and he wins the championship. The final, um... The final shot of Casey's Angel anime comes after the credits are almost over and it says, like, dedicated to, I don't know, Anthony Bourdain, rest in peace, he was actually a cool dude. Dedicated to Anthony Bourdain and Casey Mears holding up the Sprint Cup, 2008. All the while, like, um, what, what, what's a good song that would play for that? Probably, like, White Snakes playing in the background. No, that would, they would, it's actually the opposite, because Case Mears wouldn't be going it on his own anymore. Currently, he's going it on his own because of the uh, Betrayal arc. But, like, um, a, a good song for that would maybe be... The Betrayal would be maybe Here I Go Again on My Own. But the finale... The credits reel for the finale while all the championship pictures are being showcased in the credits reel. I don't actually know what a good song for that would be. I'm thinking like Simple Minds, Don't You Forget About Me, or like Everyone Wants to Rule the World. That would be a good one. Tears for Fears, anything by Tears for Fears would probably be very fit. Nah, Everyone Wants to Rule the World would probably be the most appropriate song for that kind of conclusion. But in any case, as I've been talking about this bullshit, Casey Mears just dominated the race flag to flag. Kyle Petty is going to get a top five. Maybe! Maybe! I think he did. Please? Fuck you, Truex. <laughs> Sterling Marlin got second. But yeah, Casey doesn't need me anymore. And I just gave myself all sorts of on-the-charge points like a dumbass. Blast pass two, huh? Blast from the ass more so, I'd say. I'd say. Is Kyle Petty more impressed by this? Is he happy at least? No, of course not. Why is Kyle mad? He should be out drinking, dude. He got sixth at Dover. 
He should have won Dover when he was in the 44, too, by the way. Don't think I've forgotten about that. Wasn't that, um, the race that Derek Cope won? That Kyle Petty should have won in the 44? Could have sworn. Could have sworn. No! No, that was the 90s. We're, I'm thinking about, like, 96. Fuck me, it's beeping again. What's this two new emails? Well, that's really good. Case Mears just got max points in that race. He doesn't even need my help anymore, dude. I just hope I can get a Hendrick contract by the end of the season here. A charity event. Actually, hang on a second. I wonder if Casey will be in the charity event, since he's up high in the standings. It usually... I remember in Kyle Larson playthrough, it took the guys that are high in the standings. Would Casey Mears be in this charity event? We have to just check this shit out and find out. This is going to be long. This is probably going to be a 16 lap race, so this is going to be a waste of time. All it's going to do is give me skill points that I literally don't want. Because I want to have fucking, um, you know. Yeah, there he is, my man! <laughs> Yay, Casey! Another race where I get to molest you. It's only seven laps. That's, that's actually shocking. I thought this shit would be longer. Well, I'm, I'm not complaining. Don't think I'm complaining. I'm just surprised. Might be a little bit more difficult to get Casey the win, too, for that matter, if he's going to be seven laps long. These are the strongest competition he's had all season. Scott Riggs, Jeff Green, and Mark Martin. I mean, Mark's actually good, but it's Jeff Green and Scott Riggs... I think Scott Riggs was good. You know what? Jeff Green and Scott Riggs, they were good. Scott Riggs was decent. Jeff Green was, like, legitimately good. Scott Riggs was at least decent. Bare minimum. I mean, he didn't do much in the Nest Quick 10 that Jeff Green took to a convincing championship in 2000. But he was decent. I mean, you can't ask for that much. He's a bit old, yeah. He should have had experience by then. If he'd started NASCAR earlier and he'd actually, you know, had experience, he could have been a Jeff Green in that sense. He could have been a Jeff Green. He probably could have had the same amount of success in the 10 car that Jeff Green had if he'd started NASCAR earlier. Scott Riggs just got into the game way too late. That's probably the problem here. Well, Casey's going for the lead in a completely meaningless race. This is one of the only races of the year that... that Chase Elliott winning would actually make a difference because it's an exhibition ring. See, that's what I should have done was win when I when I um when I quit out of the Gatorade duel because Casey wasn't in it. I should have just kept running it because it would have been an exhibition race. Do 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 do. I don't know if Santa's applying charity races though, so that's why I'm scared. Actually, I don't need to be afraid because there's only six cars in this race and I need to get top ten, so I'd get a top ten no matter what. Yep. Yep. I have to say, though, I mean, you gotta admit, that 25 car is good fucking looking. That's a good scheme. That's the only time that the 25 car ever looked like that. That's the only time that a Hendrick Motorsports National Guard car look like this. That's the only time that a National Guard card has ever looked like this. That's a good paint scheme. The uh, rear quarter panel National Guard logo I think is a bit too big and obnoxious, but beyond that, it's a good scheme. It's actually a really good scheme. We just ran a half second faster that lap. Okay, see. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just slide around here. Slide to the right. Anyone actually have that? Does anyone on the planet have the uh, that slide to the right song in their iTunes or Spotify, depending on how much of a new fag you are, right? Let's see if I can actually catch Casey and win this. Case, I'm coming for your ass. Normally you see him blocking right about now. Have you been paying attention? Your allies always block you because they want you to work with them. Like, for God's sake, game. Look at Casey actually going fast, though. I'm actually trying to win now. 
Look at him go fast. Good work, Casey. You've completely turned around Casimir's career, by the way. Yay! Casimir's wins a charity race. That he wouldn't have been in unless I'd done all that work to get him this far. I didn't actually pay attention. How many points was that? Did I get the full uh, charity race boost to my points? And no... No celebration in victory lane. No Kyle Petty to have my back after that one. Sad times. Sad times for Chase Elliott. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. What the fuck just happened? What? 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 I'm just going to take this as carefully as I can because I don't want to start over. Shit! Fuck! I gotta start over!